Hello everyone, it's Girl in Minecraft. Welcome to some more of Graveyard Keeper. So, um, today we can unlock the old church. So what do you say? We go and we unlock the church. Alright, let's go. Do 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 do. Do I have any body? Oh, I do have a body. Oh my gosh, it's the body just chilling. I gotta take care of this really quick. Oh no, I left a body out all night and it's rotting. I need to figure out, I need to fix all this and get a place to store bodies and stuff. There's some other stuff that I want to do, but I want to, I don't want to spoil it yet. Um, ah, you know what, screw it. So you can make zombies in this game. You can basically make them and they work for you. And they do, uh, they basically will like do all your production work and stuff. I'll get you materials and all kinds of stuff. What do I need to fix this? Flitch and iron parts. Okay. I am going... Oops. There we go. I'm going to take this body with me. And let's go unlock the church. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a mess. I could bury this guy, but I don't want to ruin the quality of my graveyard. Alright, let's talk to him. I fixed the graveyard. I was definitely right about you. I hereby pronounce you the official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Let's arrange your first sermon. It'll be a great honor for you to have me present at your first ceremony and so just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. Haha. <laughs> Actually you can just say whatever you want. You know this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music incense, get all oiled up for a nice massage. Long story short, all this stuff will help you get to get more faith, and faith is power. Alright, we got a prayer for faith, and we're now a preacher. Bishop told you that now you can arrange a church service, so there you go. Okay, we got a casual prayer. Um, Don't talk to me, talk to the people. Okay, let's start praying. So we get church quality 15, sermon needs 10. Okay, gotcha. Your quality of your church has to be a certain amount. Um, success chance is 100%. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're in church. I <laughs> shouldn't cuss. Uh, ha, not too bad, but my sermons are much better. Well, then why don't you do it? You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there, too. One of the keepers was engaged in scientific research. Haha. -ha. You can throw all that stuff out, too. Alright. Uh, I've unlocked new te technology and got study table, old books, um, and we are of a curious mind. You go deeper, find out the essence of things. Studying an item has a chance of giving you a story. Spread out... I'll spread word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. By the way, as prior, it's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony on this in, this in purple emblem. I can sell you some useful accessories for it. Haha. Ha. Also, I have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. Ugh, I have to get out of here. The air is so dry. My skin can't take it for long. <laughs> he's so... He's so prissy. Alright, what do we got? Got all these things that give us points for the church. Oh, geez, what am I doing? Um, we can build a chest, which actually I do want to build one of those sooner rather than later. And then this is where people will drop money, and that's the church basement. Well, let's go talk to him really quick. Wait, did he leave? Did he leave? From head of the Royal Treasury Department, we're happy to congratulate you on the reopening of the church and the graveyard. Also, we are pleased to inform you that by using... These lands you have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. However, all surface land and buildings that sit no deeper than one royal leap for royal spit, <laughs> as dictated by the aged contract, belong to the royal family in the town. Through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the Royal Treasury Department. Your taxes may also be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe VII loves you. I'm sure he does. Alright, we can get an exhumation permission. Um, we can get citizenship for 10 bronze, get a royal stamp, building permission with relationship. So let's get this. Let's become a citizen. Now, so now we can get 
Okay, so that's 50 silver. Building permission is 20 silver. And rightful citizen, you can buy for 3 silver. Rightful citizenship papers, um, 65. Yeah, uh, so town pass, trade license. Yeah, and then aristocrat. We can get aristocrat papers. Alright, so those are all the things we can do. So now I could bury this guy because it won't affect the quality of my uh, graveyard too much. Actually, I don't want to bury him just yet. I want to cremate him. But I got to unlock cremation, which I need this. So I need five blue points. Let's go check out the church basement. And hopefully I can unlock some stuff down here. Alright, we got a little bit of stuff. We got a speed potion. Is that something I can just like read? Use. Okay, now I know how to make a speed potion. Um, Alright, I want to throw these in here. <coughs> I'm going to throw this prayer in here. And then I'm going to throw all of these in here as well. I'm going to keep the meat on me. Um, Let's put the faith in here. Yeah. Alright, so all that's going in there. Um, let's fix this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we're breaking it down. So this was an old library apparently. Get some materials, which is very handy. Oh, we got some ruined books apparently. And some notes. Interesting. Alright, what can we study? Um, these will give you four research points. Yeah, or science points, I guess they're they're technically called. Uh, let's study this flesh. <laughs> Gross. Alright. We got some blue points. How many do we get? <gasps> 20 blue points? That's awesome. Alright, we can study this chaos solution. Uh, Alright, so most stuff requires these research points and it requires faith. So we don't have a lot of faith. Um, let's do the skull. We'll just use up our faith for this. I don't remember how many faith we needed to convince my friend Snake. But uh, we'll have to come around the next sun uh, cycle. Okay, and then I don't think we have, yeah, we don't have enough. We got 65 blue points, so that gave us a nice boost. Um, let's put all this stuff in here again. Keeper's key. Oh yeah, I wanted to study that. Wait, what do I need to study that? Do I need faith or do I need something else? Oh, instructions for the key. You need to use the keeper's key with this instruction at a study table. Right, right, right. I don't remember how to get that. Um, let's see. What else can we study? Okay, so I need that. I need f I can study this, which doesn't give me purple points, it gives me green, yeah. Um, I can study the berries? No. <laughs> I need faith for those, okay. You need faith. Alright, so let's put all this stuff away. Put these books away. Savage some paper. Oh, maybe I can... Um, I don't know. I don't want to break them by accident. Let's put the key... We'll put the key in our uh, chest by our bed. Alright. And these we can clear out, so we need beams, iron parts, and wedges. Now, did I know how to make beams yet? I think that was something I was needing to unlock. Yeah, to make a wooden beam. I need... I need more red points. Okay. And then... This is for big trees. Pyrite, sulfur, limestone. These are for precious metals. And then a stone cutter for making nicer pieces of stone. We'll be unlocking those shortly. Um, smithing, I can unlock. Blacksmith, relaxes you. When the work is done, you always manage to find some extra nails. Hmm. Better tools, better anvil. I can make a better prayer for excellence. Uh, gardening. Can we get farmer stuff? 
Select good seeds and harvest a better crop. Huh. Okay, so we can do grape farming. We can do the compost, which I already did. Uh, brewing. Insects. That's the one I wanted to unlock. Because I need moths to unlock my, uh, my ability to go fishing. Because I need to visit the guy at the, next to the astro astrologer at the lighthouse. So, desk, um, and a church work workbench, which I'm pretty sure I need these. So I'm gonna unlock that one at least. Scroll shelf. Uh, so I need paper and ink. These ones I know I need for that one dude, but I can buy ink and stuff if I want. So I don't have to necessarily unlock that one. Um, we could unlock- oh yeah, we need flyers, so let's unlock that. Prayer for prosperity. 10 to 30 church needed to guarantee a successful ceremony for those who earn their keep and be on honest trade. This will give you a commercial blessing, which can give- can improve one vendor. Alright, we can make stone gravestones. Uh, we can do cremation, which I want to do. We can make these for combo, prayer, for faith, and donations. Confessional, wooden church, prayer, prayer for repentance. It's based on a couple stories from your youth. Sermon faith. 75%. Huh, okay. Um, you can make a prayer station, lawn. All these are for like the graveyard, basically. Alright. Less of a chance of making a surgical error. Uh, I really want to do that one. It's a lot of points, so maybe I will do... Ah. Uh, you know, let's do that one. Because I can cremate them if I mess up, but I don't want to have to, like, um, do that a lot. Okay, let's do this one, and then let's do this one. And I don't think I have a lot of points left, but I could do better armor. Uh, I can make steel. Let's hold off on steel for the moment. make glass. And I'm gonna need these eventually, but I'm not sure if I need them right now. Um, I'll do gardening. Okay, so that's all the points that I have at the moment. <laughs> but now we've unlocked a bunch of stuff, so I can make some upgrades to the church. Make church benches, and I want to make a chest, so I need iron parts. Nails, flitch, and planks. So we got some work ahead of us. We got this guy. I'm gonna burn this guy. Pretty sure I need... Pretty sure I know what I need. So I'm gonna go and make a couple items and then I'll cremate this guy. Because he's kind of rotten and if I put him in my graveyard it's just gonna ruin the quality. But it looks like I have some crops ready. So that's exciting. Uh, okay, I need these, but I need more than that, so let's make some more. Oops. I meant to make the other one. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's make some of these. Perfect. Now, come with me, my friend. <laughs> this poor guy, I totally forgot he was there, and uh, yeah, he kind of rotted. I feel bad. Alright, place for burning corpses. Here we are. Toasty toasty. Alright, let's go and sleep. It's the day for Miss Charm. We'll have... Oh, we'll uh, pay a little visit. First, let's do a sleepy sleep. And get our energy back. Okay, so refreshed. Alright, I don't believe I need this hiccup grass, so I'm going to leave it. Wait. Did I? Did I not visit the merchant? Here, I'm going to keep it on me. Hold on. Did I? Oh, I did. Okay. 
12 carrots, 12 cabbage, 12 beets. So I should be able to do both of those when I see him. Um, now, do we have anything with Pachara and demonstrate you're worth talking to? I don't recall what we were supposed to do with her. Oh, I have some stuff in there I should take down to the basement. Um... I was gonna, like, see if I needed to cook anything, but I need to make some more stiff. Let's make... Oh, I don't have any wheat. Silly. I can make some of these, though. Make some baked apples. Delicious. Alright. Don't have any bread now, so I can move these over. I guess I can keep this baked meat. Alright. Yummy. Let's get rid of all of this stuff that I don't need on me. Uh, we'll grab those crops, because we're going to need them for tomorrow. And what else? So we'll visit Miss Charm and see what we can do with her. Because I don't recall what exactly she wanted, but it may have just been my citizenship papers. I don't recall. We'll see. But I think it was something like that. All right. Um, let's replant. Alright. A little low on seeds. Oh man, that one planted way down there. What the heck? Alright, we need to put a trunk or something over here as well. Um, I can make some compost. Yay! Alright. Let's see about making a trunk. I think I'm gonna need flitch. Um nails I'm sure maybe iron parts all right let's make some more nails and can I make more iron I need more fuel so let's make some firewood all right two of those Make one more of those. I need to grab some more wood. Alright, let's make a bunch of firewood. And I'll just gather more wood and restock. Alright, we gotta get over to the tavern before, um, or the inn, uh, before she leaves. But let's do that. And then let's make a bunch of iron. Because we're gonna need iron for like everything. Alright, 22 iron bars. And, um, let's see, I think, I think flitch is all we need, but let's check. Just want to quickly make uh, a trunk for here. Ah, it is flitch, okay, perfect. So, let's place one right there. build this and we can store all these seeds in here and uh, the crop waste all right so let's go to the dead horse all right hello it's you again aha okay so we need five faith okay so I'm gonna need some faith for her as well um, and then, her, yeah, her and Snake. They both want some faith. Alright. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get a bunch of faith, uh, I guess, next week. If I get my church quality up, and then I can do a, like, a nice prayer for, like, coins... I'll have to uh, get some more points and unlock one of the nicer prayers. But that's a plan that, that I can do, you know, eventually. <laughs> Might take me a little bit, though. Let's see if there's some honey up here that I can grab. So tomorrow is the merchant day. We need to bring him the hiccup grass and crops. Hopefully I have enough. Um, I just needed 12 of each, which means I should have everything. 
I'll just need to bring it to him tomorrow. And the day after that will be Snake, but I can't do anything with him just yet. Um, I need to give him some faith to convince him. And then, once I've done that, um, I can unlock his quest line. Oh, there's more bees up here. I'll grab these as well. Didn't I need to bring some honey to my guy? Uh, NPCs. It's the guy in the forest. This guy. Bring five honey pots. How many do I have? Two. Alright, let's go home. Got our apples. Um, five honey pots. I believe I have some in here as well. There we go. That's five. Perfect. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he only needed 12 of everything. Alright, we can put those away. That leaves me with a little bit of food. Um, we, can, we can bring like 10 of those. And we'll put that in the bar. Okay, so I only needed like 12 of each of these. And then the rest of this I can put away. I don't think he needed wheat though. So I don't, I shouldn't have to bring that. Let me check. Uh, merchant, 12 carrots, 12 cabbage, 12 beets. So carriage, cabbage, beets. So I have that. And then I should be able to... Should be able to teleport uh, uh, back over there. But um, I may have to just sleep first. So let me sleep. Yeah, I'll visit the, I'll visit the guy in the woods tomorrow when I'm visiting the uh, merchant. But for now, I'm going to end this part. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one where we'll go visit the merchant. Bye!